Welcome back, Wolfpack. Verlus here to the first of this week's Fan Fridays. Braviary, Scrafty, Driflim. I like that team. Let's see what we have for this battle. And the opponent has a pretty nice looking team as well. I like seeing the right here. Could It's a pretty powerful Pokemon. But in, in the end, it's going to be Braviary and Ferrothorn leading it off. And I wonder how this matchup is going to go. Because the Ferrothorn is really good against the opponent's pretty much entire team. And Braviary just commits to the Brave Bird. That actually works as a solid neutral hit, so this could be a pretty nice to What? Like, I knew it was a crit, but enough to one hit KO with a crit? Man, Braviary has damage! Oh my goodness! And it took a ton in recoil right there. But yo, I was not expecting that. Like, it's a tanky Pokemon, and even for a neutral hit, Ferrothorn shouldn't be taking like 70% of its health, but it did, and... That was actually a really good play right there. I actually really like that because against the Ferrothorn, if it has such a decent matchup like that, you would expect it that's just going to go for Stealth Rock. So you back-to-back -back Brave Bird, Ferrothorn goes down for free, and then the opponent only gets a Stealth Rocks out of it. Even Yeah, that, that actually worked out really well because, yeah, the Ferrothorn matchup, you know, it doesn't seem like it would go that well, but even without the crit, that would have just been Stealth Rocks on the field instead, and that isn't super-duper game break, especially when they have Scrafty. So the opponent goes into the Heracross after that. Scrafty gets a free bulk up against the um, Rhyperior, and there's the Rock Blast. Looks like the opponent was going for this prediction right there, because Scrafty, he, he doesn't like a lot of what Heracross can be thrown out. I mean, Heracross goes for that close combat, that's going to be pretty brutal. Also has the Pin Missile for a good amount of damage. But the Rock Blast is going to be resisted, because Scrafty's staying in, committed to that bulk up right there. So that's a pretty solid hit. And this looks like a full physically defensive Scrafty. It's just not taking any damage. And here comes the Pin Missile. The opponent isn't going to make that prediction mistake again. And yeah, even with the two bulk ups, not doing too much damage. Looks like it might get around half. Probably shouldn't knock out Scrafty. I think Scrafty can survive this last hit pretty well. There we go. So Scrafty does survive that. And the, there's the Drain Punch. So without the two bulk ups, would have had maybe a chance on a high roll damage to like really knock out the Scrafty. So could have one shot it, but then yeah, it's it's a really really weird thing right there. But in the end, Scrafty even with all that bulk up doesn't have any damage on that Drain Punch to sustain. And there's the Pin Missile again from the Heracross. So that was the time to switch, and that was a pretty interesting switch right there because uh, Driftblim, you know that it wouldn't be able to survive the Rock Blast because. Mega Heracross is a very powerful Pokemon, slinging around of high, a lot of high base power damage. So, not very effective, going to be resisted up pretty well, and burn! Oh, well, oh, okay, I know what's going on here. So, that's Flame Orb Drift Blend because it has the Flare Blues. Flare Blues, how did I... Oh my goodness, I can't believe I said that! Okay, so there's the Shadow Ball, it, it rolls off the tongue, it's really hard to say Flare Boost, unless you're really thinking about it, but the Shadow Ball on that switch, going to do about half to Rhyperior, even without that special defense drop, should be a 2 hit KO, I don't see leftovers on the Rhyperior, and that's going to be the Shadow Ball for the 2 hit KO, so Flare Boost, actually bringing some good damage on that Shadow Ball with the Drift Blim. The It's weird though, because yeah, with the Flare Boost, you're gaining 50% special attack, but like, Drift Blim's the only Pokemon that gets Flare Boost, you would expect like a lot of other Pokemon that could get some cool usage. Maybe for 7th generation, we could actually see that, and that'd be pretty nice. But there's the Pain Split onto the Heracross as Driftblim eats that Rock Blast. So it looks like wanted to... Woo. Woo. Has some damage right there. Oh my goodness. So yeah, Driftblim just wanted to try to get something done there. Not a tanky Driftblim, just offensive. But that's going to really make it for the Braviary to come in and finish up the battle is what it's looking like. So... Just in case, I guess Driftblim might have expected to get out sped. It doesn't have the unburden, doesn't have ridiculous amounts of speed. But that's going to be brave, very, very for the Brave Bird, and that is going to be the game right there. So, nice little 3v3 battle. The Braviary one shot. That was, that was a sick Braviary battle, and we finally got to see the um, Driftblim that is, like, that's Flare Boost. I've heard some really cool things about Flare Boost, Driftblim, like, weakness policy, but weakness policy doesn't really work that well because then you have to like make sure you get burned by something else. I, I've, I've heard that can set up Call Mind as well and get some damage. So it's an interesting set and I want to see Flare Boost on other Pokemon, but hey, there's a Drift in the battle. It's not minimized. I hope you guys are happy and I hope you guys get ready for some more Fan Fridays in a bit. Ooh, that plug was good.